Hi, Movie Explainer here. The film kicks off with a guy hilariously attempting to woo a goat on heat, going so far as to plant a kiss. Well, to know what happens next, you'll have to watch the recap until the end. Our story kicks off with Marvin, a guy in his early 30s, waking up and gearing up for his job as a clerk at the police station. However, his dream is more significant. He aspires to be a bona fide police officer. But there's a hurdle. Marvin's been stumbling through the physical tests needed for the cop gig. As he readies himself, a news report on Ryan, a wildlife explorer he's got a crush on, catches his eye. However, Marvin, feeling unworthy, decides to hold off on proposing until he becomes a police officer. Yet, achieving this dream is proving to be Marvin's Everest. The demanding endurance tests for the police squad consistently trip him up, and he can't even make it past the first round. The other cops in the station don't let him forget it adding frequent mockery to his struggles. Marvin's buddies in this challenging journey are Fatty, a slightly chubby guy, and Miles, a black dude who feels he is different from others due to his race. In an unexpected turn of events, Marvin stumbles upon Ryan in a restaurant bathroom. The encounter leaves them both speechless, and Marvin, grappling with self-doubt, believes that winning Ryan's heart hinges on becoming a genuine policeman. The string of failures is denting his confidence. That night, Marvin stumbles upon a commercial advertising Badger Milk, a supplement promising strength and muscle growth. Without hesitation, he orders a pack, optimistic about the positive changes it might bring. Marvin is informed that the delivery will take a week due to a surge in orders, leaving him eagerly awaiting his dose of Badger Milk. The very next day, while his colleagues revel in a baseball game, Marvin sits at his desk, pondering how to conquer the daunting endurance test. In the midst of his contemplation, an emergency call arrives, reporting a woman attacked by robbers. Marvin attempts to alert his fellow officers through the radio, only to receive no response as they are engrossed in their match. Undeterred, Marvin seizes the opportunity to prove his worth and rushes out of the police station to aid the distressed woman. However, during his drive, he persists in trying to contact the police for backup. Suddenly, a seal unexpectedly appears in his path, forcing him to swerve and leading to a frightening car accident. Marvin sustains severe injuries and loses consciousness. In the aftermath, a strange-looking chimpanzee arrives and carries Marvin away from his car. Next, we catch a peculiar glimpse of the unconscious Marvin undergoing an operation conducted by a team of animals, including a human doctor, a rather bizarre scene. Together, they manage to successfully perform the operation, and Marvin wakes up next to his car with no scars or injuries. Although he remembers the accident, the events that followed remain a mystery. Assuming it was a minor incident, Marvin decided to head home. Upon returning, Marvin encounters his neighbor's dog, Dimples, known for its unprovoked attacks. Surprisingly, the dog approaches him, abruptly stops, and even urinates on the floor before hastily retreating to its kennel in fear. Marvin is puzzled by the unexpected change in the dog's behavior, wondering why it stopped without biting. The strangeness of Marvin's journey takes an even more peculiar turn when he discovers the arrival of his badger milk package, initially scheduled for delivery after a week. He pours the milk into a glass and, though not finding it as tasty as anticipated, decides to give it a shot. Following this, Marvin heads to the shower, where he experiences shivers akin to those of a dog. It's then that he notices a remarkable transformation in his body, becoming exceptionally fit. Alongside this positive change, Marvin discovers strange scars on his back and chest, coupled with an oddly hairy bottom. Later, Marvin goes to the police station, where Fatty inquires about his mysterious week-long absence. But Marvin takes it as a joke and brushes it off. Unbeknownst to him, something extraordinary happened during that missing week. Now, Marvin is a transformed man, fit, agile, and equipped with incredible stamina. He credits this newfound prowess to the mysterious badger milk, convinced it's the secret behind his superhero-like abilities. His speed matches that of a horse, and his stamina is off the charts. This becomes evident when he effortlessly outruns a horse and surprises onlookers with his prowess. The real test comes when Marvin encounters Ryana struggling with her unruly dogs. As he approaches, the dogs magically fall in line, impressing Ryana and leading to a delightful conversation. In a spontaneous moment, Marvin even catches a distant frisbee in his mouth, leaving everyone around him astonished. The next day at the airport with Miles, Marvin's heightened senses kick in. He detects a peculiar scent in the air and follows it, eventually exposing a man carrying concealed drugs. Despite an initial fruitless police search, Marvin's extraordinary sense of smell leads to the discovery of the hidden drugs. The crowd cheers for Marvin's exceptional detective skills, and even the police officers are in awe. This remarkable feat doesn't go unnoticed. Marvin is offered a job as an anti-narcotic policeman, a role that aligns perfectly with his newfound abilities. Excited about this unexpected turn of events, Marvin gladly accepts the job offer, signaling a significant shift in his life's trajectory. 
In his new role as a policeman under Sergeant Sisk's authority, Marvin experiences an official ceremony marking his entry into the force. However, his return home takes an unexpected turn when a doctor named Dr. Wilder approaches him. Dr. Wilder takes credit for saving Marvin's life after the accident and reveals a shocking truth about his enhanced ability. According to Dr. Wilder, during Marvin's operation, he replaced some of Marvin's organs with animal organs as part of a successful experiment. Dr. Wilder addresses Marvin as his pet and explains that he allowed him to go free to observe how Marvin would react. Marvin, skeptical about Dr. Wilder's claims, insists that his newfound abilities are solely attributed to the badger milk supplement. Despite Dr. Wilder's warnings about potential consequences tied to Marvin's instincts, Marvin dismisses him and attempts to leave. However, Dr. Wilder takes drastic action by making Marvin unconscious with a dart and transporting him to his place. When Marvin regains consciousness, he finds many animals nearby. Dr. Wilder emphasizes that he must stay with him or face dire consequences. Marvin, still rejecting Dr. Wilder's claims, leaves the barn and reaches home. The following day at the police station, Sergeant Sisk notifies Marvin that he's going to keep a close eye on him to assess his suitability for his squad. With a casual toss, Sisk throws a chicken bone into the trash can before making his exit. Marvin's behavior takes an intriguing turn as he frantically scours the trash bin to retrieve the bone, reminiscent of a dog's actions. This peculiar incident marks the beginning of Marvin's odd experiences. Later in the day, Marvin spots a captivating woman on the road, and his thoughts take a whimsical turn as he daydreams about engaging with her intimately in public, mirroring animal instincts. In a bizarre impulse, he even attempts to intimate a mailbox. Marvin is fed up by his actions and seeks solace by visiting Ryan at her animal shelter. There, Marvin turns his attention to nurturing a turkey, feeding it with his mouth as if he were its mother. Ryan, an avid animal enthusiast, is genuinely impressed by Marvin's unique bond with animals. Marvin, worn out by his persistent animal urges, decides to confide in his friends, seeking understanding. Unfortunately, none of them take his predicament seriously. Determined to find answers, Marvin plans to visit Dr. Wilder the next day. However, the following morning, he wakes up at a butcher's shop, his belly swollen from a night of excessive eating, and there is no recollection of how he ended up there. Marvin leaves the butcher's shop right away and heads to Wilder's place. Unbeknownst to him, Sergeant Sisk observes his departure, sensing that something unusual is afoot. Upon arrival at Dr. Wilder's, Marvin starts running on a giant hamster wheel in an attempt to shed the extra weight gain. He then recounts the bizarre occurrences to Dr. Wilder, who once again insists that Marvin stay with him as his pet, but Marvin staunchly refuses. To make him agree, Dr. Wilder proposes a female chimpanzee to fulfill Marvin's adult desires, but Marvin firmly rejects any notion of intimacy with animals and leaves. Later, Marvin proceeds to the police station, and Sisk, harboring suspicions that Marvin is concealing something, confronts him. Despite Marvin's denial, Sisk decides to stick with him throughout the day. Their patrol leads them to a farm where Marvin's eccentric conduct persists as he observes a goat prepared for mating. In a rather unusual attempt, he endeavors to court the goat with flamboyant displays, going to the extent of sharing a romantic kiss with the animal, only to be kicked away by it. Later, while on patrol, Marvin and Sisk's paths unexpectedly intersect with Ryan. Sisk asks her for a date, but she replies that she has plans with Marvin. This revelation sparks a flame of anger in Sisk, who is convinced that Marvin, his junior, has slyly stolen his crush. He decides to go to great lengths to oust Marvin from the scene. He devises a plan, bringing Marvin to the mayor's party with hopes that a misstep there would lead to swift expulsion. The party starts with Marvin initially chilling until his dog instincts kick in at the sight of a cat. A wild chase ensues, and Marvin unwittingly becomes the party's unintentional troublemaker. Seizing the moment, Sisk urges action to get Marvin fired. However, in the nick of time, Marvin's extraordinary instincts come to the forefront. He hears a noise coming from inside the pond and impulsively dives into it. After a few moments, Marvin comes out of the pond, rescuing the mayor's son from a potential tragedy. The crowd erupts in applause, and even the mayor, swayed by Marvin's heroism, dismisses any thought of expulsion. Marvin's unexpected heroics not only save the mayor's son but also secure his position against Sisk's scheming. Later that evening, Marvin takes Ryan out on a date. Things get a bit quirky when a waiter at the restaurant tries to show off his charm to Ryan. While she steps away for a moment, Marvin decides to claim his territory by urinating under her chair. When Ryan returns, Marvin spots something on her face, playfully points it out, and goes for an unexpected lick, leaving her utterly confused. In the midst of all this, Ryan's dress slips off her shoulder, stirring Marvin's primal instincts. Overwhelmed by his manly desires, he dashes off to the bathroom for a moment of relief. Returning, he finds Ryan in yet another alluring position, prompting another hasty retreat to the bathroom. 
As the date unfolds, the persistent waiter continues his attempts to win Ryana's favor. When the evening comes to an end, Marvin takes matters into his own hands and confronts the waiter outside, teaching him a lesson with a good beating. Later, Marvin drops Ryana home, and once she closes the door, he decides to leave his mark outside by marking his territory with a splash of urine, just like some animals do. As the sun rises on the next day, Marvin finds himself in the heart of a jungle, utterly amazed at the strange twist of waking up in the wild after going to bed at home. Swiftly, he makes his way to the police station. There, a farmer recounts the tale of his missing cow, presenting a sketch that points fingers at a mysterious beast behind the disappearance. Mr. Wilson, the chief of staff, studies the sketch and does a double take, spotting a resemblance to Marvin Sands' clothes. Curiosity piqued, Wilson quizzes Marvin about his whereabouts the night before. Marvin, genuinely puzzled, can only reply with a shrug, leading to his temporary banishment from the police station until the mystery is unraveled. Fast forward a few days and Ryana decides to pay Marvin a visit at his place. To her surprise, she discovers he's turned his home into a nest-like haven. Marvin, grappling with his perceived danger to women, hesitates to invite her in. But Ryana, far from convinced, insists on staying the night. Marvin reluctantly agrees, setting the condition that he be tied up to prevent any inadvertent harm. Yet, in a twist of fate, Ryana opts not to bind him, and the night takes an unexpected turn with a kiss that holds a spark of something more. Meanwhile, the very same night, the beast, seemingly Marvin, unleashes havoc on a farm. The next morning, Marvin wakes up next to Ryana, but their peace is shattered as the police surround their house, blaming Marvin for the chaos. Ryana helps him escape through a window. Marvin, using his newfound powers, outsmarts the police. However, a cow assault incident puts him in the spotlight, and the city forms a sinister search party, willing to capture him at any cost. In the woods, Marvin encounters Dr. Wilder climbing a tree, claiming to pick apples but a dark gun gives him away. Under pressure, Dr. Wilder admits to experimenting on someone else, the true culprit behind the animal attacks. They set out to find this mysterious wrongdoer, but Dr. Wilder injures his foot, leaving Marvin to find the beast on his own. Then a secret is revealed, and we find that Dr. Wilder has an animal-like foot, and he might be that beast. Meanwhile, the sergeant sets a meaty trap, and Marvin, out of an animal instinct, takes the bait. Bullets rain down, but Marvin escapes, climbing a tree. After a chase, the sergeant nearly falls off a cliff but is saved by Marvin. However, the sergeant's gun maintains its deadly focus on Marvin. Suddenly, Ryana springs out of nowhere, executing a swift move that sends the sergeant into a dazed slumber. In a startling revelation, she discloses herself as yet another victim of Dr. Wilder's insidious experiment. She then approaches Marvin and expresses her relief by playfully licking Marvin's face. Just when it feels like a breath of relief is in order, an enraged mob, augmented by the squad and police, closes in with a palpable thirst for vengeance. In an unexpected turn of events, Marvin's friend Miles steps up, confessing to all charges. However, the air becomes charged with tension as the authorities realize Miles is a black man, and suddenly, their once eager pursuit of justice dissolves into a stark commentary on racial bias. Fast forward a year. And a serene domestic scene unfolds. Marvin and Ryana, now happily married with two kids, watch Dr. Wilder receive the Nobel Prize for his groundbreaking experiments. Then they both share a kiss, but their tender moment is abruptly interrupted by the comical intrusion of a goat on heat, providing an unexpected yet humorous conclusion to their journey. Liking and subscribing might seem simple to you, but for us, it's gold. Hit subscribe and thumbs up. I can't wait to catch you in the next video.